My question is for the Minister of the Environment, Conservation and Parks. A few months ago, the Ontario Superior Court overturned the Minister's decision to cancel the Nation Rise wind farm. It ruled that the Minister's decision did not meet the requirements of transparency, justification and intelligibility. Now the government wants to hand the minister even more power to pick and choose which projects get a full environmental assessment. Fired Environment Commissioner Diane Sachs said the changes in Bill 197 would create an enormous risk of corruption and undue influence. Speaker, can the minister explain why he should be trusted with even more scientific power given that the Order. minister has already been caught by the courts ignoring scientific evidence. Minister of the Environment, Conservation and Parks. Thanks very much, uh, Speaker, and thank you, the member, for that question opposite. And I do know the member opposite uh, sat through a technical briefing, and uh, what he's asking doesn't correlate with what uh, uh, he has learned at that session. Uh, we are modernizing the Environmental Assessment Act, which has been modernized in over 50 years, Mr. Speaker. That's when Pierre Elliott Trudeau was still the Prime Minister, and uh, some of the caucus here weren't even born yet, Mr. Speaker. So what we're doing, if this legislation is passed, we'll begin consultation to create a list of projects which will need environmental assessment, much like Canada has already done and majority of other provinces, Mr. Speaker. And that's what we're going to do going forward. Once that regulation is, is ready to go after consultation with community members, municipalities, other stakeholders, Indigenous communities, once that comes to Cabinet, like every other regulation that's made in this province, Cabinet approves it. There's not going to be one-off decisions made at the Cabinet table. That is utterly and completely not true, Mr. Speaker. The supplementary question. Speaker, I find it interesting that the Minister's defense of Bill 197 is modernization of the environmental assessment. I guess that means hollowing it out and getting rid of the transparency around it. The government could, if it wanted to modernize the EA process, it could make all large private sector projects subject to an environmental assessment. The Auditor General pointed this out when analyzing the huge financial risk of such projects to taxpayers. Her 2016 report showed that there are over 5,000 abandoned mines in Ontario with a cleanup cost pegged at $3.1 billion. So, Speaker, will the minister modernize the Environmental Assessment Act to protect taxpayers by making large-scale private sector projects subject to an automatic environmental assessment before being approved? Minister of the Environment, Conservation and Parks. Thanks, thanks again for that question, Member Opposite, Mr. Speaker. And uh, through the modernization of this uh, Environmental Assessment Act, and, and if this legislation is passed, what changes immediately is uh, we'll be exempting environmental assessments for land claim settlements and other projects with Indigenous communities, projects in provincial parks and conservation areas. And for the first time in the history of the province, we're going to give municipalities a say in whether or not they want a landfill sited in their, their municipality or not. What will also happen, Mr. Speaker, if this legislation is passed, it will enable the government to start consultations on the project list that the member opposite has mentioned. And that is going to have a detailed consultation throughout the entire province. We'll take our time and make sure we get it right so that we align ourselves with the federal government and other provinces. And I, I implore the member opposite during that consultation time to be part of that. Bring forth those ideas so we can have uh, our, our hear what he has to say, reason behind that as we create that list. Much like I worked with you over the permission to take water uh, with uh, his own area, with, with the, the Guelph region and, and your own, Mr. Speaker. Um, we're a government that wants to work with you. We're going to have that consultation process. We'll discuss what you want to add to that as we're going to talk to all Ontarians. What would they like on that project list? Whether it's going to be uh, what the Indigenous communities Response. want, what stakeholders want, what municipalities want. We're going to have a clear and concise list brought forward which will be uh, approved through the cabinet and put in force just like the rest of the country. Here, Thank here. you. Much.